Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we'll be looking at five movies I recommend you purchase during the Criterion Flash Sale. Now I said that these are recommendations for this sale, but they're also recommendations for the 50% off sale at Barnes & Noble that is occurring next month. It also occurs in July. So, all of these I recommend you purchasing during both these sales because they're all great movies. And you saw the first one I'm going to be talking about, and that is Mildred Pierce. Mildred Pierce stars Joan Crawford, Jack Carson, Zachary Scott, and Anne Blythe. It's also directed by Michael Curtiz, a fantastic director who I will be doing a video on very, very soon. It is such a fantastic noir, and I highly recommend you purchase the 4K. This is the Blu-ray, but like I said, I highly recommend you purchase the 4K because everything, including box sets, are on sale, 50% off. So if you want to get a great movie on 4K, get this one. And so that is Mildred Pierce. The second film I'll be talking about is a Douglas Sirk film, and that is Written on the Wind. Starring Rock Hudson, Lauren McCall, Robert Stack, and Dorothy Malone in an Oscar winning performance. So it's a Cirque film, so obviously it's fantastic. And I've only seen three of his films. Yeah, three. The ones, all of them have uh, Rock Hudson in them. And this one is fantastic. I don't know if it's my favorite of his. I would say All That Heaven Allow it. All That Heaven Allows is. But this one is just as great. And it's such a heartbreaking and beautiful film, and it's one I highly recommend. And it also comes with a poster and sign. I won't take it out, but you can see there. And I will hang it up very soon, so you'll see it somewhere around here if I do a video anywhere where the poster is. So that is Written on the Wind. The next one is for fans of screwball comedies, and that is The Lady Eve, directed by Preston Sturges, starring Henry Fonda and Barbara Stanwyck. Now this is a very different role for Fonda as he normally did dramatic performances so you know it's fun to see him in a very different role and he's great in the comedic fits and obviously when you're watching Preston Sturge's movie it's very funny and it has a great script. As much as I love Henry Fonda the standout has to be with has to be Barbara Stanwyck who's normally the standout of every movie I've seen her in. So that is The Lady Eve. It's a movie that I'd highly recommend and it's also spy number 103, a very early film in the collection. Now the next one is an art house film and Criterion is normally known for releasing art house films and as you can see you probably saw what the movie is and this one is possibly my favorite. It's Federico Fellini's Eight and a Half and it's about Marcello Mastriani who plays a director whose new project is collapsing around him along with his life. And so when I first read the plot of this film it intrigued me and when I finally watched the film I thought it was a bit weird but the more I thought about it I thought it was a great film. And on the supplements I haven't viewed any of the supplements yet but there is a little documentary about his Fellini's longtime composer Nino Rota and the score on here is beautiful, so highly recommend checking, about, checking out Eight and a Half. The final film we'll be looking at is a, another noir, obviously, because I love noirs here. And it is Alexander McKendrick's fantastic film, Sweet Smell of Success, starring Burt Lancaster and Tony Curtis. They both give fantastic performances, but the standout has to be Burt because, well, he gives one of the greatest performances of all time in this film as J.J. Hunsecker, gossip columnist. It's a great film about journalism. It also has a, a cracking score by Elmer Bernstein. It, I believe, yeah, he did the score. Yeah, he did. Yeah, okay. Because I was checking if it was someone else. I was thinking it was him. It also has a fantastic script from uh, Ernest Lehman and Clifford Odets. And obviously, great cinematography by the master James Wong Howe. It also comes with a little booklet, which I took out because I didn't want to go through it all, take it back out, put it back in. Great read. It looks like a newspaper, some photos, everything. Yeah, so 
I highly recommend you check out the five I mentioned. If there was one I'd recommend the most, it'd probably be either, let me get out, either of these two, because these are, the, I think, these are the two I've rated the highest out of the five that I mentioned to you guys. Yes, these are the two. And so, if you want to see more from me, subscribe, and well, that's a wrap.